Hi, welcome to another video and we're back looking at a retro title and this time it's Toka Race Driver 3. Um, now, this was also known under other titles depending on the market, so DTM Race Driver 3, uh, V8 Race Driver 3, Pro Race Driver 3 depending on which market you were in. But other than the titling, the content for them was exactly the same. Um, and boy, what a huge amount of content it had in it. It really was quite packed, particularly for its time. Before I get onto that, I just want to point out that Toka Race Driver 3, for me, um, was a title that I can clearly remember when it came out, looking forward to it massively. Um, for two reasons. Um, the first one, it's one of the very, very, very few games to have featured one of my local circuits in it, which is Castle Coombe. Um, I only live about half an hour away from Castle Coombe. I've been there many times. I've driven there many times. Um, and it's a circuit I know well and love. So I was really stoked that it was going to be in um, Toka Race Driver 3. The other one was I quite clearly remember that there was a um, pre-order promotion in the UK that gave you a free ticket to the BTCC as part of this. So um, I got to see him. In my case, I do remember I went to Silverstone for that. So those were two quite strong memories I have of um, Toka Race Driver 3. But that said, th those two things aside, this was a, a fantastic title. Um, and being perfectly honest, if you were to remaster and remake this right now, it would still stand up as a massively strong title. And I want to talk about the content, first of all, because the content was just huge in it. So starting off with regard to the tracks, there's a huge number of tracks in here um, and some stuff that, in all honesty, um, very rarely gets featured and that was one of the great things about it so if you look at australia it had virtually every track from the v8 uh, supercar series in there including some absolutely great ones oran parks in there um Mount panorama obviously is in there gold coast is in there simmons plain phillips island etc it's huge you know you then have places like bahrain shanghai spa istanbul um Bruno, um, Germany had some good representation. Obviously, given its age, it didn't have the full Nordschleifer in there, but you know it did have uh, the Lausitz Ring, um, Hockenheim, uh, Norris Ring, Standard Nurburg Ring, um, Oscherschleben. We also had Mondello Park from Ireland in there, which was a throwback. Um, Zandvoort, um, some stuff from New Zealand good amount of stuff from America, um, including Laguna Seca. Uh, UK was well represented as well. Donington, Alton Park, Silverstone, Brands Hatch, Bedford, Autodrome, all of the layouts for Bedford Autodrome. Again, don't feature in many titles at all. Um, and Snetterton as well as Castle Coombe. On top of that, it also had some original circuits in there as well. Um, some rally circuits, rally cross, go-kart and um, dirt raceway stuff in there. So, you know, that's just the track list, which was mental. If we then talk about the cars that were in there, well, there's a huge, huge amount of stuff in here again um, and spread across a massive range. So just breaking it down. He had some classic stuff in there, everything from 30s vintage um, Grand Prix cars, um, 60s uh, Grand Prix cars, 60s GT stuff in there. Um, there were some Williams Grand Prix cars in there um, from the 80s and 90s. Group B Audi Quattro, um, historic Alpine A110 rally cross and rally cars in there, Lancia Stratos. Um, the uh, W196 Mercedes-Benz Silver Arrows, some US Muscle stuff in there, a load of GT stuff, from British GT, um, all-wheel drive GT cars, um, Global Lights, Koenig and Gembler um, in there, Japanese work stuff, Caterham 7, um, Palmer Jaguar JP1, um, some Can-Am stuff from Ultima in there, World GTs with Corvettes, Morgans, uh, Nobles, uh, Marcos is in there, Moseler's, TVRs, um, 
Vauxhall Monaros. It, <laughs> it, it, it went completely mad. You then had the oval stuff in there from the States where you had Dodge Chargers, um, Indy cars, dirt series stuff in there, speed trucks, sprint trucks, Renault Clio touring cars, DTMs from Audi, Merck and Opel, Clio V6, um, Ford Falcon and uh, Holden Commodore from the V8 supercars, super trucks, so you had trucks in there, um, Honda Type R specific challenges, um, then a load of off-road stuff as well, um, from Pajeros to um, buggies and kit cars, rally cars, um, off-road buggies, open wheel stuff, so Formula Fords, Formula Palmer Audis, um, Williams F1 cars in there, Formula 3, Formula 1000, and carts in there. Then, you could unlock some bonus stuff on top of that. So Honda were deeply involved with this title. So there's a series of events for Hondas in there where you had um, a lawnmower, a load of Civic based stuff from standard Civics to Civics R, um, Aerial Atom because it was Honda powered, S2000, NSX in there. And then to top it all off on top of that, you had some silly toy event stuffs in there yes because the lawnmowers weren't silly enough so you had slot car racing in there and you had gt and uh, rallycross remote control car racing in there so content wise it, it not only was just really really deep and varied stuff in there but it was also incredibly well curated they took what they had and they built an absolutely amazing package around it and it's one that few titles if any have come close to curating um the content of a game as well as talk of race driver 3 actually managed to do um you know the race driver 3 really did hit the nail with this and did it incredibly well for its day graphically it was extremely good as well um, particularly with regard to the damage model that it had in there the damage model for its time was absolutely excellent and still um stands up as being something where you have to be careful with what you're doing in there and it really did stand the test of time um physics wise for its day the physics were actually pretty impressive i mean it's still not unpleasant to drive now the biggest issue with it looking back over all of these years is the fact that you um, seem to have to brake from an absolute mile out even um, on cars using slick tyres on dry tarmac that bit's not too good but you know it, it will be considered sim k by a massive margin in this day and age but for when it was released it was extremely good um, and overall i have to say if you can get past the looks and the sound and the cheesy story which some people love but i still find it a bit cheesy what you've got is a title that for its day was incredibly well polished and still stands up right now and as i say if somebody were to remake this i know licensing wouldn't allow someone to remake this it it will be lauded for the title that it is because it is amazingly complete stunningly well curated great balance of tracks and cars that are used very effectively tons of stuff to do um and yeah th this is one of those times where going back and meeting your heroes doesn't disappoint this is an excellent title that just really really stands up well in this day and age um if you like the retro stuff it's one of the best retro titles i've reviewed and looked at since i've started doing these um so thank you to everybody that suggested i i do this one um because it had been on my list to do and i'll be honest getting it emulated decently was a bit of a pain in the ass but it was well worth it um well worth it enough that i'm thinking to try and hunt down a pc copy and see if i can get that running on windows 10 um which will be a challenge but if i can and can get my wheel fully working with it it'll be well worth it because as I say there's so much stuff in here to do it's it really is great and this also you have to consider was the last of the um I know it wasn't quite the last because there was one more after this wasn't there? I was going to say it was the last of the Toka race driver series before it moved over to grid but it wasn't so ignore me on that but anyway 
for my wittering aside if you found this interesting and enjoyed this video please do hit the like and subscribe button and if you want to see more content like this hit that bell icon to be notified when future videos are uploaded thanks very much take care